Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm Cindy and today for Testimony Tuesdays, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how God set me free from anxiety. But before we get started, I want to quickly encourage you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly videos on kidney wellness, lifestyle, travel, Testimony Tuesdays, and just a whole bunch of other stuff I love to post for you guys. So don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and thank you. So back in 2014 was when my anxiety started. I was 18 years old, I was pregnant and I had just found out my kidneys had failed. So you can imagine how I was feeling. I was feeling so alone, so disappointed within myself, so broken and confused. And yes, I had my amazing and loving families to support me, but I still felt alone because I was the one going through that pain and through that suffering. I was doing hemodialysis every single day, my body was taking all of that, then I was holding and carrying my baby and it wasn't just a regular easy pregnancy no I had a high risk pregnancy and then on top of that I was young I was only 18 years old and I just really felt just the lowest point of my life and that's when on top of all this sickness on top of all this pain and disappointment I felt on myself the spirit of anxiety creeped in through the door and I started to have anxiety attacks. I remember that I would want to go sit down or I would want to take a rest and I couldn't. Literally, I had to stay moving, stay active all throughout the day because if I would just take a little break, anxiety would kick in. I literally had to be moving. Um, I couldn't sit still for car rides, um, being in church, just anytime I had to sit still at sleeping, I had a hard time sleeping because I would feel that anxiety. And I don't know, everybody experiences that anxiety differently, but for me, I would feel like a tightness in my chest. I would feel like somebody just grabbed a building, uh, like a huge story, like 10 story building and put it on top of me. And I felt like I wanted to move and get out from under and relax and not want to, you know, be under that suffocation. But it's like I couldn't, you know, because I would get up and it would still, I would still feel it. And it would kind of take a while to go away, but I could never just rest and relax. Um, because I would always feel that pressure and that feeling. And it was so bad. I remember at church, I would sit down and I would tell my mom and my sister to, Go like this to my arm to make it feel like um, I'm like moving because it would give a little bit of relief and I remember I would hit my thighs and I would literally cause pain to myself to try to relieve myself that's how bad it was and I remember I would feel like shortness of breath and it was just really bad and my anxiety lasted for two years and I would just keep it to myself I wouldn't tell anybody like you know, people can kind of see when you have like a worried face and I would have that worried face and I'd be like, and they'd be like, are you okay? Or what's wrong? Like, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not the type of person that likes to worry people, especially like my family. I don't like to tell them anything because I don't want to worry them. And I remember I was, you know, asking God, like, Lord, please take this away. Take away this feeling. And I would pray and ask him to take it away. And, um... I don't, I don't believe, you know, because I'm Christian, and I don't believe that anxiety goes away by a pill. I believe that only God could take away anxiety. Um, yes, there's treatment for certain things, but for me, anxiety, depression, and panic, all for me, I truly believe that you could take pills all you want, but it's not going to fully go away until you let Jesus work in you and ask him to take it away for him to remove it. Because it's not that you're fighting against your own flesh, that you're uh, against your own mind. No, you're fighting against principalities, evil forces of darkness. That's who you're fighting against and that's what's attacking. And that's why I would always fight it back with prayer. And I would pray and I w it would be calm for a day or two, but then it would continue. And I would ask God, but it would still continue. And I remember the day that I was set free from it. So when I was set free from anxiety, I was in Arizona and I remember we were in Phoenix and we were driving to Scottsdale. And the drive was a four hour drive. So of course the anxiety started to kick in and I started to feel like a building. I was under a building, suffocating, and my body started to feel, you know, the attack. And 
I was feeling it the whole way, so I kept moving because you know it would attack me when I was not doing nothing. And my way, like, to kind of relieve myself, I would move around in my chair. I would try to do stuff to my body. I would touch it. I would try to get my mind to think about something else. And I remember it still continued. And we stopped by a Bucky's on our way to Scottsdale. And when we stopped by there, you know, they went into the gas station, like my dad and Greg and my sister. And I remember I sitting in the car and I prayed and I asked God, I said, God, please take this away. Take, I just can't do this anymore. My body feels too sick. My body feels too weak. My mind, my spirit, everything about me is feeling too weak to handle this anymore. I was like, God, your word says, come to me all those who are weary and burdened and I will give them rest. And I was like, God, I'm coming to you weak. I'm coming to you with all my burden, with all my weariness, with all my sickness. And I just need to lay this on you. I need you, God, to take this anxiety away, to take away this sickness away. Way. I need you Lord to heal me and I was like God just take it all away and just like that in a snap of a finger the Lord set me free from it you know that prayer must have came truly from the deepest of my heart because God knew I could no longer take it any anymore and I was free from that I was free from anxiety after dealing with it for two years God finally set me free and I was so grateful I was like God thank you thank you so much for what you did, you know, for healing me because now I feel free, I feel different, I feel relaxed and at peace. And I was so grateful to God for that. And I always give this testimony to people who are dealing with um, anxiety attacks, panic attack, depression. I always like to give this testimony because my thing is, if you're dealing with that, yes, you can be on a pill and you could take this and that, but it's not gonna go away until you allow God to work in your life. For him to, you know, enter into your life and start to clean out what's bad and start to, you know, give your body a spiritual detox. And, you know, you just have to pray and ask God to take it away. Just like everything that I've been through in life, you know, I feel like everybody goes through different struggles, but, you know, everything that I've ever gone through in life makes me who I am now. And I'm grateful for the person I am now because God has molded me different ways throughout my life and you have to allow God to work in you. And like no matter what trials, what tribulations God is taking you through, whatever road he's taking you on, know and trust that he's gonna make you a better you, that he's gonna mold you. But that's if you allow him to make you a better you because some people come and they're walking on their path and then comes a trial and tribulation and they let them just they let that trial or tribulation destroy them rather than make them a better person. So you have to be that difference in yourself and make let whatever you are going through make you a stronger person. You know, I feel so grateful for everything he's put me through because I feel like, okay, okay, God, every time you show me something, you open my eyes to more things and you just have to trust his process. If you believe in God and Jesus and what he is doing, then you are gonna be molded to who he wants you to be. So that's basically my testimony of how God set me free from anxiety. It's very short, but for me, it's very powerful and impacting. So I really wanna share that with you guys. So just always trusting God and thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to have a blessed and beautiful day as always.